Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the office again. Today we got something different. Um, on my normal job, I'm an engineer, but when I get home, one of my hobbies is being a nerd. So I help a lot of people out with their computers and networks and whatnot. So today we have a Generation 2 Lenovo Yoga ThinkPad. I think it's a ThinkPad, idea pad, or no, it's just a yoga. Uh, i7, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 SSD. Well, we're gonna be swapping that out for a NVMe drive. It's a Samsung 860, 860 Evo. And uh, we're gonna clone all the software on it and uh, put all the updates, clean it up, and the whole bit and everything. So. Uh, not too long of a video, but hopefully it'll be informative to everybody that um, that would want to be able to do this. It's not hard; even I can do it. So, uh, anyway, y'all stick around. We're going to start taking all this apart and uh, see what we can do. Okay, the items we need for today's job is the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro. We have a M SATA USB converter box or adapter. We have a Samsung 860 Evo M SATA SSD. We have a Torx T5 uh, driver. Uh, and assorted bits, a little tiny pair of needle nose, and a spudger. This is to pop the, the back lid off because they have about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little torch screws so that we have to take loose. First off, we're going to clone the, the 256 gig drive that's in this one to the 512 Samsung drive. So First off, we'll start putting the, the Samsung drive in here so we can start cloning it. Uh, give me just a minute and we'll get everything laid out to do that. Okay, let's get everything laid out here. Make sure we get everything out of the box. They wrap everything up. It's a really pretty shade of blue. They send you a little uh, Phillips screwdriver. And for some reason, they put the USB cable in a Ziploc bag. I don't know why they do that. But it says USB 3. It's got the little end on it with the, the blue. Kind of matches. You lay this over here. Let me go ahead and take this apart. And I'll go ahead and speed it up while, while I'm doing this.
Okay, now we have the laptop out. We got it hooked to the Wi-Fi. We got the power. Because you always, if you start cloning a drive, you want to make sure the power's on. You also want to make sure that uh, your screensaver's turned off. So we'll go in and and do that. Uh, power management, you want to turn it off while you're doing it. Um, the whole bit. Because you don't want this thing to go to sleep while you're sitting there working on it. So we'll go to power. Power to sleep. Uh, when plugged in, we're going to go never. Never. And then uh, on sleep, we're going to go never on it. Alright. And then we'll go over to... Uh, Personalization. Make sure everything is turned off that should be. I don't think we have a screensaver set. Okay, I'm gonna reposition the camera and uh, bring you down in here to the screen and we'll see if we can um, download some software. Okay, I've tried two, three different things here. Don't like any of them. So I found where Samsung has a data migration tool, so we're gonna try it. Okay, my source disk is the 238. My target disk is the um, 500 or 465. Okay, that's what I need. Let me close everything up before cloning. I don't want to screw some other. Okay. Yes, I would like to start. All right. We'll see how this goes. I hope it goes well. I'll come back when this is done. Okay, after two hours and 16 minutes, it says that the drive has been cloned. So I will go ahead and uh, close this window. There's no errors or anything like that. Go ahead and close this. Please shut down the system and install the new disk. So I will shut it down. We'll remove uh, the power and uh, my little uh, USB drive. Let me move the back cover out of the way. I've had two videos going on here, so I'm a little bit... Okay, remove that USB drive. Let's remove the power. Close the lid. Flip it over. Where's my little... There it is, my little screwdriver. Let me turn this back around. Okay, y'all should be able to see that. I'm taking the 256 out, putting the 500 in. And we'll put the 256 back in the USB drive uh, enclosure. So you can use it as a local storage or um, a backup drive or, or whatever, whatever, whatever you know, whatever he wants to use it for. All right, put that in right there. Tell you what, this has been a long journey to get this working. This. Alright, let's 
back in there. I will put up power. Are we still in frame? Yeah, we're still in frame. A little bootable device. All right, let's try. I'll have to go back in the BIOS and fix all of it. So if we can tell it to boot to the 500. We'll go to the boot menu. Windows boot manager, 500. Let's see if this works. Wow. Put my super secret password in. And we are booting on the 500 gig drive now. Let's go and look at it. You gotta double click this thing. All right. Go to Disk Manager. For some reason, it says Windows 8. I guess it had Windows 8 on it. We have a 464 gigabyte primary partition with 317 gigs free. I'll go in and clean some of that up. Awesome. Good deal. I will go in and fix the screen flicker, flicker and uh, put all these Windows updates on it and drivers and whatever else. Anyway, I hope, I hope I don't have my head cut off here. Let me back it up a little bit. Anyway, uh, hopefully I can make sense out of this so you can watch it in the video and make it work. I tried three different softwares before I found one that's a really good clone. It just took a long time. Anyway, I'm going to knock this out so I can get it back to my friend. And I appreciate y'all coming to the channel. Hey, remember to subscribe down there. Hit the little bell to be notified when I put a video up. Uh, I got a couple of videos. I got a brand new Synology NAS that I've been setting up. I got a couple of videos on that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Appreciate you being here. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. And we're gone.